r slash ask reddit by reddit and chill. What's the dumbest thing you have ever believed? When I was small I lived in a small town by an oil refinery. My parents convinced me that if you fart on sight, it would explode. I was in kindergarten. We went on a class field trip there once, not much else to do in the middle of nowhere. And I felt the gas building in my gut. I didn't want to kill everyone. So I grew quite stressed. I realized that I would need to take extraordinary measures to prevent catastrophe. So I spent an embarrassingly long amount of time with my hand down my pants. Blocking my fart. Edit. It really doesn't help that gas leaks can cause explosions. Such selflessness. When I was a kid. I used to think girls had different colored rings around their nipples. Eye colors like brown. Blue. And green. I thought that boobs were perfectly round with centered nipples. Like headlights. I was absolutely appalled the first time I saw adult boobs. I got over it. Though. For the longest time when I was young I believed getting new training shoes made you run faster. As soon as I got a new pair I'd go outside and have my distance set between two lamp posts. I'd swear it felt like I was quicker with every new pair. Ha this is great. You were probably right. Not because of the shoes. But because your legs were getting longer. When I was young I didn't realize that the car indicator was manually controlled by the driver. I thought the car just knew where you wanted to go. A lot of drivers around here still believe that one. When I was like 5 or 4, I strongly believed that it wasn't people growing up that caused their clothes not to fit in anymore but it was clothes becoming smaller and tighter by themselves. I planned to keep a piece of my clothing and see how small it could get and whether or not it would vanish at the end. Well, we do say that shirt's getting too small for you instead of you're getting too big for that shirt. Great story. That the moon or sun follows me every time I'm in the car when I was little. And it's still the case believe me the sun and the moon follow me everywhere I go. When I was really little. I really thought the world was in black and white and suddenly became color at some point. I knew that the actors on TV were real people so they must have lived back when the world was gray. This was backed up by evidence of black and white photos in the family album that also then turned to color photos as people got older. The Wizard of Oz shows the point where we went from black and white to color. That Robin Williams and Robbie Williams are, were, one and the same person. He'd wear his old man mask when he was acting for a movie. And his normal version is a musician. Might have gotten confused after watching Mrs. Doubtfire as a kid. Believe this far longer than I'm willing to admit. I thought Michael Jordan and Michael Jackson were brothers. When I first learned what sex was, I didn't realize people did it for fun. I thought it was just a very clinical, boring thing people did when they wanted children. So yeah. There's that. Lol. Yeah. When I first told my son about it, he said something like wow. You must really want a baby if you do that. Not me but my friend. He believes. Still to this day. That all bus stops are sanctuaries and that you can commit any crime and not be charged. As long as you are in the confines of the bus stop. Mind you. We are both 27. I have no idea where he got this from. But when pressed about it. His answer is always this. Dude. That's why you see so many people at bus stops shooting up heroin and smoking crack meth. They can't get in trouble there and if they OD, the ambulance knows right where to go. To which my response is, you're an idiot. Drugs aside, what if someone murders someone else at a bus stop? Are they still free to leave? Him dude I'm not gonna ducking argue semantics over this. Just look IT the duck up. Duck I'm google IT. Bus stops are sanctuaries. Then googling it only reaffirms his belief because there's not some very specific web page that explicitly says that crimes are still crimes at a bus stop. See man. I ducking told you. If I was wrong it would be on the front ducking page of google. I refuse to believe your friend isn't ducking with you. If you swallowed watermelon seeds they'd grow in your stomach. My brother and his friend said that to me once while eating watermelons. Me being very young at the time believed them and got scared because I swallowed some seeds. For about a year after I thought that my testicles were watermelons growing inside me. 
my dad drove over rumble strip when I was young and I asked what they were for and he said so blind drivers know that a stop sign is coming up and I believed that for like 4 straight years until it finally clicked. That when they had an ad for an upcoming sport event. The footage they showed was from the future. For some reason I thought tall TV was live. So that meant that previews were from the future. I blame having older brothers. I'm right there with you man. I for real thought tall TV was happening right then and there. And those a-holes that kept interrupting with the same commercials. Why didn't they choose a different one? There was a light ERP fountain near where I lived when I was a kid. The lights changed color and everything. It was pretty awesome for a kid. My dad told me that a tiny little man was sitting in a tiny little room under the fountain. And he just sat there switching lights on and off. I believed him for years. Edited to add that my dad will be thrilled to know that his bullshittery got gilded. Thank you. Something about tiny men parents loved saying. Mine was there was a tiny man in the stereo controlling the music. That several meant 7. I thought a few meant 13. My grandpa had given me a few sunflower seeds. So I counted them so I would know how many a few was. Later I couldn't understand why my mom got so mad at me for taking 13 cookies when she said I could have a few. Putting batteries in a flashlight backwards sucks light. Thanks grandpa. You got me. Came to find out he got my dad with that one also when he was young. Fun fact. LEDs generate power when you shine a light on them. As long as you are not already powering them. When you have sex the guy puts his thing between the girl's tits and somehow sex happens. I only realized I was wrong when in 6th grade science it didn't make sense fish could do this underwater. This same day I became a man. I hate to point out the obvious. But another nail in the coffin of this idea is that fish don't have tits. I believed women did not have belly buttons till I was 4 or so. I was raised in rural Mississippi. Born in 1966. Very conservative culture I had only seen my mom's body. I'd taken baths with her when I was a wee lad. My mom was overweight. And as far as I had seen. She did not have a belly button. Therefore. Women did not have belly buttons. That stoplights changed colors when I said please and thank you. Eater I may have been an idiot kid. But I'm at least a very polite adult. They only respond to turn ducking green already. I used to think that actors were there waiting to perform movies shows every time I wanted to watch it. I always wondered how they got it perfect every time and were always available every time I popped in my favorite VHS tape. Sometimes I'd watch closer. Hoping to catch an imperfection. Same here. I can still feel the confusion I felt first time I saw the same actor in two different movies at the same time. My sister told me when I was really young that if I used girl shampoo or shower gel I would turn into a girl. I believed her until I was 14 because I just assumed she would never lie to me. Which is also dumb thing to believe. That in the old movies when someone was killed. They actually died. My sister explained to me that people used to volunteer to die so the film could be made. Same here. I thought that the actors were so brave for volunteering to die. Batman was named Batman because he was raised by bats. And that cat's actually had 9 lives so if you tried to kill a cat it would literally die then come back to life and go about its daily routine until all lives are wasted. Believed all this shit during up until my teens. How many cats did you kill so you couldn't watch the resurrection? Back in college. I read this article about a South American tribe that had made complex computers using a rope pulley system. I excitedly told some people about it. Thinking it was really cool. Only later did I realize that the tribe's name was a pun on April Fools. I felt like the biggest idiot around for believing it. This just reminded me. I once turned on the TV as a teen and saw a documentary about space was running. So I kept watching. They were talking about SETI and how we send messages to space. Then they mentioned how we once detected a signal that was kind of suspicious and how they investigated it. They ended up decoding it and found that it was very obviously of extraterrestrial nature. They interviewed researchers who speculated the possible meaning behind it. It was all very serious and down to earth. I was super excited and couldn't believe how I hadn't heard of this before. Then the voice went the events of this documentary. 
did not actually happen. But what if something like this would happen? How would we react? How would it impact our lives? I wanted to punch the TV so hard. I once believed that the color green was good for your eyes. So one time I sat in my room and stared at green construction paper for 45 minutes. Was probably 10. Definitely old enough to know better. My grandma used to live on the top floor of her apartment when I was like 4 or 5. And for me to stop jumping she would tell me that people live underneath. Somehow in my mind that meant tiny people lived under her couch and chair and I would try to talk to them a lot. I fully believed adults couldn't run. It was always children running around but adults would just walk. I formed my own conclusion and stuck by that for years. I challenged my dad to a race when he was like 31 and I was 7. Thinking obviously I would be faster because I was younger. Turns out longer legs make you go significantly faster. Also my dad had been a sprinter up until he had his first kid. As a man of about the same age as he was when I challenged him. He tossed the dice when he didn't warm up in any way first. Children really are small scientists who don't yet know the basics of how the real world works. So they do their best to create their own theories. This is not my story. But my sister thought all the panthers were pink because of the Pink Panther cartoon. She believed in it until 10 years old. Then the show would have just been called Panther. I thought men gave birth to dogs. What? How? I have been a diehard fan of Teletubbies until 5 years old. You know those moments when they showed some videos of kids doing stuff on their tummy TVs? Well. I used to believe that the kids were real beings inside the Teletubbies and that basically the whole universe we live in was situated in the tummy of a Teletubby. I sometimes think back about that. I cringe a little and say to myself boy I was an idiot. Edit. Whoa. Turns out I was doing philosophy at 5. Guess I wasn't so dumb then. That's actually pretty smart. I mean. If you every take a 100 level philosophy course. You realize that grown ass adults have endlessly debated the plausibility of similar scenarios. That a couple weren't many people sharing a car ride. Didn't know that when I was a kid in the 1980s. But a very small pool in a very large car. A literal car pool. If you swallow gum it stays in your digestion system for 7 years and if you swallow watermelon seeds your stomach will grow a watermelon. Jokes on you. I still ate the watermelon seeds. I thought that ancient Rome and the renaissance were the same time period. To be fair the people running the renaissance often tried to give that exact impression. When I was a kid I used to believe that all cats are females and all dogs are males. Kinda made sense back then. Yes same I also thought all horses were boys and cows were girls. My mom used to tell me if I cut my fingernails this night ghost will appear. So one day feeling daring I did just that. I was disappointed. Why would she tell you this? I was maybe 4 or 5 and my uncle walked me to and from school every day. He was maybe 19. 20 years old. He'd meet me on the stoop of my building with a beck and a juice. One day I asked. How come you're always up so early? Because I have to wake up and turn on the sun or else it won't be warm. That's my morning job. Couple weeks later we went to the beach. My uncle said he'd be right back. He disappears and then sundown comes. I see him walking the in horizon and I was duck in convinced. It was winter and cold one morning. Around 6 ish. It's dark and I'm waiting inside the front entrance of my building and my uncle shows up and waves. And shio. The sun. You didn't turn it on this morning. I'm cold. Pouty face lameo. It needs to charge. It's kind of like your VCR. You have to rewind it so it works again. I'll just say I was in for a rude awakening at school when I learned the orbits of the planets. I confronted him lying to me when he picked me up from school. He rubbed my hair and told me I was a smart one and took me to Toys R Us in Union SQ and got me where you land. I miss the 90s. I was a solidly grown ass adult before it came to my attention that narwhals are actual animals and not mythical creatures. Eater. OMG I feel so validated and supported. Thank you reddit. Don't feel bad. I thought fireflies were made up Disney things. I am originally from the southwest and in the desert there are none. 
was until I was in my 20s stationed on the east coast did I see my first fireflies. I was little and in the car with my mom and I asked what this was. She told me it was in case a deer or something was in the road. So. I assumed all cars were equipped with a gun bat. With the push of a button could kill anything that got in our way. As an animal lover I hoped we never have to use it. Ducking like and subscribe.